I've just come in from the garden picking all these lovely vegetables which I'm going to be cooking with today. The first dish I'm going to show you is some gorgeous asparagus from the farm just around the corner. The asparagus when you buy it in the shops comes really long and there's a little woody bit at the end. Just, rather than getting a knife and cutting it like lots of people do, asparagus has a natural little bend in it and if you just hold it towards the end and snap it, that's where you want it to be. Then if you're really worried about it, you can just take the very end off. So I've just poached some asparagus already in some boiling salted water. It's really important to have salted water when you're cooking vegetables. All these spring veggies have got a lovely sweet flavour inside and we want to enhance that with the salt. I'm also going to show you how to poach an egg my way. I've spent lots of years working in kitchens where you have deep boiling salted water, vinegar, and you have to spin the water, put the egg in, and uh, it all gets too complicated and I think it scares people, the poaching process. So today I've got just a normal frying pan, nice half full with water, boiling water, no salt and no vinegar, definitely. And just cracking an egg in. I'm going to do two for the dish, so we'll use two. And they're lovely fresh eggs. When fre eggs are a little bit older, they tend to, when you crack them in, they splay out and they don't hold the white. And so it's really important to buy fresh eggs, organic, um, free range organic eggs are excellent. So I've got the two eggs in there, I'm just going to leave them to bubble away for a little while. This charcoal pan should be nice and hot. Just pop the, t the asparagus on at an angle, just gives it a nice, nice mark. And they're literally just going to be turned over a couple of times. I'm not putting oil on at this stage because I'm going to finish with oil and, and the beautiful oil that I've been using, which is from the estate here, it's got such a good flavour that if I'm going to be um, chagrining it at this heat, it's going to lose that natural um, lovely flavour. So I'm just going to leave them on there for a couple of minutes. Over here I've got some parmesan and some lemons. They're just going to finish the dish with, with the olive oil and some freshly cracked black pepper. Now you'll see I'm just sloshing the hot water over the top of the eggs and that's just aiding it to cook on the top. And while they're bubbling away, just giving these a little turnover. See that lovely, lovely colouring on the asparagus. That's enhancing the sweetness as well. Now the eggs are looking as though they're nearly ready. Just use my fingers. I'm just going to slosh over a couple more times. Just to make sure that the, the very outside of the egg yolk is a little bit of white that tends to take a little bit longer to cook than the rest of the egg getting rid of any excess bits of white. Pop these on the plate. Nice and simple. My tongs aren't gripping very well. And turn that off. Sprinkle of salt. And that salt's going to absorb into the asparagus and sort of melt, that salt melts on hot food, so you will almost want to put it on now, let it absorb, just a really light drizzle of olive oil, and that's again going to absorb into the asparagus. These eggs are ready. Now, it's best to turn the pan off, because all of those bubbles, you're not going to be able to see what you're doing. Just go underneath and give it a good drain. You want the egg yolk to be nice and runny, so try not to walk away. If you walk away from cooking, and I do it, I walk away and I burn it and I overcook it. So if you're going to cook, get a glass of wine and make sure that you're concentrating all the time. A little shave of parmesan. Lemon straight from the garden this morning, just a tiny little bit just to add to the flavour. And my favourite thing brown black pepper, lots of black pepper on there and there's your finished dish.